A good start to the July series is what we've seen after a good close to the June series. Sensex and Nifty ended with gains of over 1%, hitting fresh life highs. If you see Nifty, it ended around the 19,200 mark, whereas Sensex saw a jump of little, nearly 800 points. Uh, in terms of the sectors, all the sectors ended in the green and it was mainly the IT pack which led the gains and it was the metals that was the top losing sector in today's session. From a broader market perspective, they did end in the positive but underperformed the benchmark indices and similar was the trend with Bank and Nifty as well. Smart gains coming in there but underperformed vis-a-vis -vis the benchmark indices. Let's quickly look at the top gainers. M&M, a 52-week high after receiving a PLI eligibility certificate. Infosys, Indusin Bank, Hiromoto as well as Sun Pharma were the other top gainers. Whereas on the losing end, you had Adani Ports, Adani Enterprise, DV Slabs, Grassim as well as Apollo Hospitals. Let's quickly look at the newsmakers of the day. Bharat Electronics on the back of an auto win saw some smart moves. HDFC has increased stake in HDFC Ergo. You had Paytm which is partnered with Sridham Finance on the back of it. Sridham Finance was in uh, focus. Kalpataru Projects on the back of an order win saw some smart moves. Credit Access Grameen declined in trade and this was on the back of the block deal. JK Tower hit a 52-week high and this is on the back of the capacity expansion plan. Uh, Reliance Capital gained after the lenders approved uh, the indecent bid. And MCX was the stock of the day as well, which extended a decline. And that's mainly because uh, clearly brokerages are now saying that the contract with 63 moons has come in at a significant cost with regards to FY24 profitability. Easy Trip Planners, HDFC Asset Management, as well as Bandhan Bank. These were a few of the other names that were the newsmakers of the day as well. So overall, a good day of trade, a lot of newsmakers and a good start to the July series. And analysts are indicating that 19500 is the next target that we should be watching out for in terms of Nifty 50.